measuring the internal resistance of a cell. We can find the EMF and internal resistance of a circuit using the following setup. We have a 1.5 volt cell as our power supply. We have an ammeter to measure the current, a variable resistor to facilitate readings of different resistances and therefore different voltages and currents, a switch to turn the circuit on and off, and a voltmeter to measure the voltage. To begin, we record the voltage of the cell when the switch is open. This gives the EMF of the cell, which we can see is 1.54 volts. So the EMF is 1.45 volts. Now we close the switch and we take a reading from the ammeter to be 0 0.09 amps. So 0 0.09 amps. We also record the terminal potential difference from the voltmeter and this is 1.42 volts. So 1.42 volts. We will then gradually decrease the resistance using the variable resistor and note the measurements for the current and the terminal potential difference. So for our new resistance, we have the current as 0.14 amps, as 0.14 amps, and the terminal potential difference as 1.41 volts. 1.41 volts. Decreasing the resistance again. So we have a current of 0.21 amps, 0.21 amps and a terminal potential difference of 1.39 volts. So it's 1.39 volts. So this time our current is 0 0.33 amps, 0 0.33 amps, and our terminal potential difference is 1.36 volts. So 1.36 volts. Decreasing again, we have a current at 0 0.8 amps, so that's 0 0.8 amps, and our terminal potential difference as 1.24 volts, so 1.24 volts. Decreasing again, so we have a current of 1.62 amps. 1.62 amps and a terminal potential difference of 1.03 volts so 1.03 volts so decreasing again to the minimum resistance we have a current of 3.55 amps 3.55 amps and a terminal potential difference of 0 0.54 volts, 0 0.54 volts. Here is our recorded data tabulated. And note that our EMF is recorded to be 1.45 volts. If we plot this data as a graph with voltage on the y-axis and current on the x-axis, we have the equation of the trend line to be y equals minus 0.25x plus 1.44. This is consistent with V being the terminal potential difference, R being resistance, I being current, and E being the electromotive force or EMF. Comparing this to the equation of a straight line, we see that the gradient is equivalent to the resistance and the intercept is equivalent to the EMF. So this works out quite well with our measured EMF being 1.45 volts. So with our measurements, we're pretty close to the 1.44 volts that we've got off our trend line.